The Continental from the world of John Wick. The Continental explores the story of how Winston Scott in the 1970s came to his position as proprietor of the New York branch of the Continental chain of hotels, safe havens for assassins on the grounds of which no business may ever take place. This three-parts action and crime drama miniseries released on Amazon Prime Video this past September 22, 2023 is a spin-off and prequel to the John Wick franchise and features the participation in the starring roles of Mel Gibson as Cormac O'Connor, the head of operations of The Continental, and of Colin Woodle as Winston Scott. For us, who are fans of the John Wick films, we found the story, as it has been presented in the first part, interesting and entertaining, with good action scenes in the style of John Wick, but, to be honest, not as exciting and dramatic compared to what we have been used to watching in a John Wick production. Obviously, it's only the first part, so we'll see how the story unfolds in the remaining two parts. As we say, we found it entertaining, and because of what we have watched so far, we believe that the miniseries promises to meet the expectations of John Wick fans. Hopefully, they will explain a little more about the origins of this society or organization of assassins that, according to what has been said, goes back to before the time of the Roman Empire. As for the production elements, we found the cinematography, the 1970s settings, the set designs, the choreography of the action scenes and the soundtrack to be good. The performances of the cast seemed all decent, but in this first part we found none to be outstanding. In summary, so far we have found the miniseries entertaining and good to watch. That's why we tentatively give it a score of 3 stars out of 5. We recommend that you watch it if you are fans of John Wick and of productions of this genre. Until next time!